and again, there is no other kingdom outside the ICOC. The ICOC is the true church, is the kingdom. So at this point, you are following, you are following in line, and you are pretty much ready to start uh, not only be baptized, but also continue to live out in their uh, live out their paradigm. And of course, the final studies count the cost, and they basically say, "Hey, are you really ready to do this? You're really ready to commit?" And they really go through the Lordship of Scriptures again. In some ways, they try and break you when I kind of reverse break you. One of the things that I did in my break kind of the cost study was they showed me an article written by a local newspaper saying, oh, the church is a cult, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, I'm not buying it, not buying it, not buying it, not buying it. And I was um, totally manipulated at that time. Um, but then we're done with that and get baptized. and You establish your partner and you are in the system and you are um, pretty much in your – your Bible talk, your small group, you are encouraged you know, to go out and recruit and find new members, get into Bible studies and repeat the process. Oh yeah, they only really have one scripture about the Holy Spirit in the entire study series. Um, it's in, I think it's in Corinthians, no, it's in Colossians, where um, you, when, you, when you see the Holy Spirit, it becomes a mark of your salvation. Hmm. Now, imagine what kind of theology you can build if you only had that one scripture about the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you can go into 87,000 different places, and they do, because fundamentally, and I've got quotes from um, ICFC leaders who basically they've either reduced the Holy Spirit to just a personal for an impersonal force, or they just believe, like the traditional Church of Christ do, that it's just a mark of your salvation, the Holy Spirit only works through the Word, uh, things like that. So, again, I'm just kind of reiterate the point here in their theology. They don't believe Jesus is fully divine in nature. They don't believe the Holy Spirit is fully divine in nature. Either one of those makes them non-Trinitarian. Mm. Drop the mic. We're done here. <laughs> that's one easy way to kind of get out of that so how about for you how about for me what, what was it that caused you to say I, I'm done okay so um, I grew up like I said before I grew up Roman Catholic Catholic schooled all the way through um, didn't really have a whole lot of um, spiritual background you know it's like okay god will just go to mass once a week and not eat meat during lent and be a good person and maybe read the bible sometimes and i'm good to go obviously that didn't well at least even before me in the icoc that didn't really was not really satisfying it didn't really lead me to a lot of happiness because i was still broken and depressed at times and disconnected from people and very selfish and self-focused I was a mess. So I went to college at the University of Dayton, Marianist school, and um, majoring in computer engineering, so we had an opportunity to co-op. My first co-op was at IBM in Durham, North Carolina. So uh, early fall of 98, 20 years ago, we, um, parents and I, went down to North Carolina Got an apartment with another co-op, and uh, we worked at IBM. And three of my neighbors, three women, lived upstairs from us. And um, they were nice, and they were talking to us, and they invited us to their church. And at first we were like, no, we're not really interested. Uh, but they were persistent, and they were friendly. So it's like, okay, we don't know anyone around here. What's the harm? And obviously they were in the ICOC. Uh, a couple of months later, beginning of October, I went to my first service. And then they started studying the Bible with me. And October 22nd was the day that they baptized me in North Carolina. So, again, they did not say, they didn't even tell us really the name of their church. Mm. Um, well, down there, they called this the Triangle Church of Christ, the Triangle Church. Um, mm really get the city name because you know that's kind of makes sense it's kind of a geographic area you got a lot of acapella churches down there 